Hey cookies, it's your girl Ayana Piranha and I am actually going, coming to you, blah blah blah, um, and I am going to do another wig tutorial and what I've done now is I have on a dome cap over my own hair um, and like a stocking cap underneath here somewhere to hold it down. Um, I'm not going to make the wig on my head, I am going to attempt to use the hot glue gun method used by um, Miss Fabulous Jazzy Juju B82. Hi Jazzy. I'm styrofoam wig head here and I put a plastic bag underneath it. Um, I put the dome cap, this is a dome cap, on my head first um, and kind of marked, I marked my um, temples like by my eyebrow and then I did like earlobe to earlobe and then I did the centers like where I might want to put um, a closure. And then I also pinned it down, if you sew ladies and you have these like push pins, stick pins, um, and I put those on the wig to hold it down. And so I am going to start to glue this and I'll just do a little bit because I don't want to make the tutorial too long but this is my very first time trying to make this wig. I've been watching videos like for a week preparing myself to do it because I think I want to do like a China bang so I've been watching Miss Shonda all week make her bangs. Um, so I'm just going to try it and here goes nothing. So I'm using the hair in a number 1B and a 4 because um, I want to do a bob and I think I'm going to put the 4 which is the lighter color on the bottom so that when I razor it and I cut it you can see the light through the bottom and like underneath the bang if that's what I end up doing. So we will start with the number 4 which is this right here. It's kind of like a light reddish brown number 4 um, on the bottoms and the sides and then I'm going to continue to the top to the number 1B and this is the kind of hair that I'm using. So stay tuned for more cookies. This is going to be a journey. Peace. Okay cookies, now for the 1B. I'm a little lost now as to what I'm going to do. As you can see I glued it all the way around. It's got all kinds of glue but I'll clean that up later. So I think now I'm just going to start with the 1B, do one track going around.
Okay, cookies, I'm back. It's your girl, Ayana Piranha, and I have on the wig. And actually, because I used an 8-inch, it has a lot of layers in it. And I found my handy-dandy razor comb, so I might just go back through it and do a little bit more razoring. But I don't think that I'm going to actually cut a bang. I think I may just razor it a little bit, and as you can see, I put the number four in the front, so it has some, like, more color, and I think I might just um, curl it like that. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've left these, like, side parts already out, and I've put it in my little ponytail, and my hair is, like, really puffy underneath here, you guys, because I have, like, that braid out, and my hair is really thick, so I just kind of ponytailed it down and put the wig cap on top. So that I can just kind of eyeball it. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Um, I got this technique from somebody else on YouTube. And it, it worked the first time I used it. Where you put it into a ponytail. And you um, cut the ponytail up, I believe. Or either way, when you cut it, it's going to make the bob shape. My scissors are like absolutely horrible. I bought new ones and I can't find where they are. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try and cut this. And um, I'm going to leave the front like this and probably just go through and like razor some more so you can see the, the color in there and really do that. Um, cut and style it and then I'll come back to show you guys. Peace cookies. Okay, cookies, it's your girl, Ayana Piranha, and here is my semi-finished look. I'm still going to go in and um, cut it a little bit, but the only thing I did, I didn't cut any part of the front. The only thing I did was cut the back. I may still go in and razor it a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to show you the back, but please know that my hair is lumped up in a ponytail in the back, so that's why it's not laying flat. So I'm going to go back and before work tomorrow, braid my hair because it's not braided underneath. Braid it and then put the wig cap and everything back on so it looks better. But here is it. So, cookies, that is my first hot glue gun wig, and um, I used a number four and a number one B, so you can see the colors kind of in there. Just left this out here and cut it. So, I'm probably just going to, you know, go in and, and cut a little bit more, um, and I didn't really curl this side, but... You know, go in and, and do a little bit more to it and spruce it up, and then I will post pictures, so... Um, there it is. And of course, I made a closure at the top. Um, the video wasn't too good for that. But there's the closure. Try not to make this um, video too long, but there it is. And I'm just going to, you know, curl it a little bit more. And so I'll be ready to wear it. And, you know, it'll lay much flatter and look different um, once I braid my hair. So stay tuned for more pictures. Rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. All of my information will be in the description box. So there it is, and I'm super stoked. Even though it's not laying down in the back, it's like, I think it's looking mad cute. So I'm excited. Stay tuned for more.